Welcome to RV Field Trip, full tour and review. Before I take you guys around our new RV for the full tour and review, I want you guys to hang around at the end of the video where Rose had noticed I was doing something in the first video that we made and she figured out a way to solve it. You won't regret it. Stick around to the end. Let's do the tour. This is a Forest River Flagstaff Superlight FKBS. Stand for front kitchen bedroom slide. Love the graph works that they put on this. It's so nice. You have your dual battery area here. Two 30 gallon propane tanks. Electric jack. Hitch light. Button. Super pretty window. It's a frameless window, and that's automotive. That's automotive glass, so you don't have to worry about it just busting up on you. You got a uh, light there, which is great if you're hooking up or unhooking at night. Here's the switch for it. It's right here on the side. may not show too much right here but at night it sure lights up this whole area rock guard here's a nifty thing I haven't seen before put your plug in right here so it doesn't get ruined Easier two pull outs. The first one here, that is the living area, and the one back there is the bedroom. Hence the BS part of it. <laughs> bedroom slide. Also on top, we do have the slide out awning on it. So if you're parked underneath leaves, the leaves will land on the on the awning and not your slide out so that helps out with the longevity of it. Storage container with magnet. That's pretty nice. I don't know how visible this will be for you but this goes all the way which you'll see it goes all the way underneath the bench under the dining table. Again, the frameless windows, which I really do find makes, makes it look extremely well. Nice graphic works and built extremely well. Your tires, you can see the little green knobs, they're on all the tires. This has a tire pressure monitoring system that came with the RV. Your clean outs are right here. There's one here, I didn't show you, but there's also one right there. That's your front gray tank. And this is your back gray tank and your black tank. Another storage compartment, this one's pretty big. Let the camera focus for you. This is underneath the bed. Also the bed pops up so you can even get under under here. You guys are going to have to excuse the wind. It is extremely windy out here. 50 amp service. Spare tire ladder which is not a chintzy ladder I mean it holds up the weight and I've been up there quite a few times 
does have this so you can hook something on. I wouldn't hook on a trailer to this. Doesn't seem that kind of sturdy, but maybe a bike rack. Fresh water connection, antifreeze, I guess for winter, winterizing. Fresh water. Shower. It even has the hot water out here, which is nice. Also, more buttons. That's for your stabilizers, which is nice. You don't have to sit there with a jack and keep spinning it, spinning it. Just press an electric button. Here's the awning. And this awning is a full awning. It goes all the way to the front to back, covers both doors, which is extremely nice. Also under the awnings, running the full length of it underneath, when you have it out, there's a strip. LED lights come on really pretty at night. You got a speaker there, another one over there, your light. This right here is hookup for your TV and then you've got a plug right here to plug in your TV or anything electric. Anyways that's for cable. Um, this right here, which I'll explain a little bit later, this is your black tank clean out. You also have more lights, step lights. There's one there. Refrigerator back here. This right here is for the exterior grill, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Your furnace and your hot water heater. Even these are nice. Again, you gotta love the magnets on this. It holds on and it's not it's not like it's really gonna pop down on you. Let this thing focus. Okay, this is pretty deep. I mean you can put a lot in here. Also right there, I don't know how much you can see. But that's the door underneath the sink, so you can always get to it from the sink area. And these are your, this is the electric jack for the front end. Front stabilizers. Very, very pleasant to the eyes, put it that way, I like it. Now let's go on the inside. I think we need to turn on a few lights, more buttons, interior lights. Let's press a button. This is the master control panel. Yep, love buttons. First slider. We'll 
We're gonna make sure nothing's in the way before we pull out the bedroom slide. Bedroom slide. Might as well start off here in the kitchen. Well, again, you've got the AC. Start off at the front door. You got the control panel. You've got your fresh water, your battery. Shows that it's full. Your fresh water. Your black tank. And your gray tank press any one of these buttons and it shows you the the refrigerator freezer which are nicely done I love this wood Yes, we do keep a fan in here because we like to keep it on. But first and foremost, it keeps this away from it. So the fan's probably been off for almost a week now. And see how it grows with just a little time. Plus, it keeps everything cooler. But that's a later story. I've got your fuse panel. gas fireplace oh excuse me this is gas or electric refrigerator three burners stove microwave hood hood fan and light I have to admit, these cabinets, the wood, it's it's really nicely done. It's not that cheap material, it's real wood. So you know it's gonna last a long time. Plus aesthetically, it's just really, really nice. And as you can see, there's a lot of storage space. got those drawer or excuse me those doors down there which is the length of this table drawers and again that door I showed you outside where I said it led into the kitchen this is it right here our eating area Huge storage space down here. Remember I showed you outside and I told you it went underneath the bench. This is it. You also got another one there, but that does not go all the way through. Some more storage above. You got your recliners, which are comfortable recliners. And you know another thing is the material. It's not it's not cheap material it's made extremely well it does have vibrate light and heated seats rose loves her heated seats it also came with trays these trays would fit in these holes right here i've never seen a use for it but but even this piece right here 
it's really nicely done. Before I forget, I want to tell you about the blinds too. The blinds are day and nighttime. This right here, probably nighttime. I can figure it out. There we go. See, you can see through it there. Drop it back down, and you can't see through it. Yeah, not as many outlets as I thought you would have, but I'm okay with that for right now. Another to the another pantry area here or storage, whatever you want, right to the right to the left of the door, and room for underneath for shoes which I try not to wear shoes as often as I can. TV, surround sound, a stereo system with all the fixing. It's got Bluetooth. It's got everything you, you could want. Fireplace. Believe it or not, that fireplace will warm you up. I mean, I know we live here in Florida, but at the same token, if you wake up and it's it's cold in the morning, that will warm you up. All right, this leads into the bedroom. And this is what we needed to have, a separate bedroom. Not another one, a separate one. You got cabinet spaces on top of the headboard. I don't remember if this had any. No, that did not. Looking to see if it had outlet. No, that did not. I thought I remember outlet. Yes, right there. There is an outlet on the bed. It's also pre-wired. If you want to put a TV in here, even has the hanging area for you. Nice big sliding for jackets or winter clothes or just whatever you want it for. Again on this side. Oops. And a bunch of drawers down there. They're not bad drawers either. You also have them right here. You also have them underneath. Plus that big area in the back where I told you went underneath the bed. Well, it's all underneath here. Let's see. Those are the two drawers area. And that's the big storage area over there. So you do have plenty of room now you got two areas to get in to the bathroom one from here the bedroom and one from the living area as far as bathroom wise goes this is not bad i mean it's not huge but you don't come in here feeling like you're bouncing off everything. It's perfect. Perfect for our needs. You got a nice big shower. Now, I don't know about everybody else, but it, the height is really, really nice. The floors are built extremely strong. The floors are built extremely strong. Skylight. I like these rounded doors, to be honest with you. I like the way they round off. Some more underneath the sink. Toilet, of course. And your fan. Now, this fan works extremely well. Like 
guess it would have to. Uh, we got two ACs, I almost forgot to tell you. We got two ACs. We got one in here, the main area. And we got another one in the bedroom. Now, believe it or not, as hot as it gets here in Florida, the last time we went camping, it was 98 degrees, which was last week. And we only put this main on and it cooled off the whole area. There was no need to put the, the bedroom one on. So I like that a lot. I guess we'll sit down and we'll do a little bit of what we've noticed, everything we've seen. As far as our review goes, I, I really have nothing bad to say. I mean, full disclaimer, we've used this RV about six times and we've taken it on, on a long trip. We went from Central Florida all the way to New Orleans. So, and the way back, it was in a windstorm, in a rainstorm, things were coming down and this RV followed us extremely well we had no problem with wind we had no problem backing into everything it 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 backs in exactly the way you want it to go if if you've trailered a lot of things before you'll know that some trailers don't follow you follow the way they're supposed to especially when you're in reverse this one does um i'm sure as far as a sway the sway bar has a lot to do with it which I'll explain on a later date, um, but it is a good one. Uh, the only negative things I have to say about it is the outside I showed you where the uh, black tank washout was. They put everything is on this side of the RV when you're hooking up, you know, your, your dump, all that stuff, your electricity, your water hoses is normally on the opposite side of the doors. Well, for some reason in their infinite wisdom, they decided they put it onto the front side. So I have to drag the hose all the way around if I want to clean it out. I don't know what they did that for. Maybe they're trying to keep it away from the fresh water line, but you sure could have ran it some other way. But that's no big deal. I'll learn to live with it, and that'll be the last time I probably ever cry about it. Um... The only other thing I could think of, minute things, things that should not bother you. Um, the outside grill I told you about, where it has it mounted onto the side of the RV. Well, when you're cooking hamburgers and all that stuff, you have a bunch of grease and that goes up. It gets, it gets onto your awning. It gets onto the siding of your, of your RV, which after a little while, grease is just not going to you know, it, it, it's a pain to wash off. And if you don't, you start noticing it real, real quick. So I just bought a 25 foot long extension LP hose. That way we could just place it on a table and go from there. So no big deal. Um, we started doing a punch out, but to be honest with you, a punch out meaning things that need to be fixed or repaired. But so far on the punch out, I would rather do the work myself than bring it in for warranty work because it's stupid stuff like a drawer sticking. Um, is there anything else besides the drawer sticking? That's what Rose had on her list. She had one or two things, but minor, minor. The woodwork is fine. Nothing is falling apart. Everything is works great. So my recommendation is I love this RV. I think this is this is perfect. But after telling you about all the minute stuff, I mean, I even feel bad complaining about it. it it's, it's built extremely well. I've not noticed anything. And I've went down, I've checked all bolts, all everything underneath as far as axle-wise goes, um, roofing, everything. And I found nothing wrong. Uh, so we are extremely pleased with it. If you guys are considering one, I hope you are as well. But that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. Um, now let's go outside, see Rose, and see what she has in store for me now. If you guys saw the first video, you'll notice I was talking to the screen 
almost as much as I was talking to you guys. Well, Rose noticed this and said, well, we need to fix it and came up with a plan. I think this will work. This will fix it. Do you think so? I think so. Okay. Well, before all that, I, think so. I hope that you guys hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share this video, and first and foremost, give it a thumbs up. Are you okay? Yeah. It says vibrate. It's not vibrate. Not vibrate? It's not vibrate. You okay? Though? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Well, I wonder what this button is. <laughs> not, not vibrate. Not vibrate. <laughs> not vibrate. Not vibrate. No. I'm sorry. Nope. So, are you sure you're no, okay? No, it, it's, it's, it, it's fine. I knew I should have got the other remote. <laughs> Walk it off. Walk it off. See you guys next time. Alan, try to walk in a straight line. <laughs>